Hey everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support everyone has been leaving on this series. Yesterday I asked if we could try to reach 200 likes, and you guys, in a matter of a one day, decided to destroy that challenge. I feel like these challenges are too easy for all of you, so today, because it's the 10th episode, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can challenge for 300 likes yes this is a big challenge i know you guys can do it you guys have been showing it recently so let's go ahead and see if we can reach that 300 like gold challenge and uh yeah so without further ado what we did in the last episode was we actually worked on this storage room which many of you guys really appreciate it so because of that i thank you all uh so the, a lot of you were saying you know what it looks pretty cool some of you mentioned to take down these chests but overall you guys were really supportive of it so i do appreciate it and i am using faith as well for a texture pack if you haven't noticed already i'm gonna try it for today's episode many of you have been mentioning to try a texture pack so a lot of you were hinting towards faithful so i figured you know what we'll give it a shot for today's episode if you guys like it then i'll continue with it if you want default then i'll continue with default so again let me know in the comment sections what do you guys think about that but yesterday i read a fantastic comment and it was actually to make almost like an adoption center for dogs so this is what this building is actually going to be used for we're gonna have a lot of uh wool in here dogs whatever you guys want to call them and uh, we're pretty much gonna tame them and they're just gonna sit around here we're gonna make a pretty big fence here for them to run outside and uh, I think it'll be pretty cool to have like a little adoption center for some dogs and maybe some cats too but that's gonna be difficult to put them in the same room so you know what I mean so yeah so that's why I think we're just gonna stick with having this as an a dog ad adoption center and then maybe the maybe like the building right next to it could be like a cat adoption center that'd be kind of funny uh, but yeah so that's what we're gonna work on today and I already have a few basic Basic designs for it. I don't really know 100% how it's going to turn out, but it's all just a matter of trial and error for for this building because, you know what, I thought about it and I said, you know what, we're going to make it towards the farm to make it a little bit interesting, have a little path kind of going away from the, the main town somewhat, so I thought that would be something interesting to try out and I think it hopefully will look pretty cool. Um, and also, I don't think today we're going to have any uh, wolves to tame. I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode possibly uh, because taming wolves right now would really Really take a long time so I'm thinking we could either do that during a live stream or during off screen so uh, I think that's just the best bet for it I think for now we're gonna try and try and complete this I, I emphasize try because I don't think we're gonna have enough time really to complete this building I think we're just gonna have enough time to start the basic structure similar to how we started off doing the uh, the I guess now it's gonna be the food food storage room so because of that this might be a two episode thing so yeah that's something we gotta keep in mind so I'm gonna try and finish this and if it's not possible then that's no big deal uh, we'll, we'll probably eventually finish it off in the next episode or doing a live stream so that's that's totally fine and the person actually who mentioned this actually even mentioned to add dispensers in here to actually like step on them and, and feed the dogs so uh, have a pressure plate connected to it and that's what we're gonna do so I actually made 10 dispensers and then 10 pressure plates just to go along with it and we're gonna align them along the wall so that the dogs can go ahead and and get their food if they want to get their food so I think that's kind of cool now I didn't really think through for the design of how I want this but it's going to be fairly simple we're just gonna start off with working with the dispensers I think it's safe to say let's actually place our bed here because like I said I always take my sleeping bag with me at all times anytime I'm building uh, so let's get this dispenser let's get a pressure plate and let's get a spruce fence. I'm going to try something, see if this design works. If not, no big deal. I think we're going to put a few dispensers. I was thinking this whole wall could be a dispenser. Uh, so we could even try to do this. Oh, no, not that. We can try to put them along this whole wall. Oh, that's not even, though. Okay, well, you know what? That's going to be a little bit of an OCD moment for us right now. So I have a better idea. What we could do is... Um, Maybe every corner could have a dispenser. No, that doesn't really work too well. How about we try to do something where it stays even? We can even just have two dispensers. I like to keep things even. I don't know why. It's just an OCD thing probably. But I think two is fairly enough for us. I could always put two more on this side. Uh, but... I think we're okay with two, right? I think this is totally fine. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment sections. Uh, and I will try to maybe change something up. But for now, I think we could leave it like this. We could probably add some dispensers, actually, outside as well, where we're going to have the garden. So let's actually close in here. Uh, let's close in this area. Is it turning night? It is. So let's just close in an area for the dogs to roam around. And we can add some dispensers outside for, like, little treats as they're running around. So I think that's kind of cool. Why can I not place a block here? 
Anyone else seeing this glitch? Is this like a, a glitch in my world? What is this? Uh-oh, I think we just reached the first glitch in this world. Um, let's try to break them and add something back. I don't know. That, that This is a weird moment, guys. I think uh, we found a little bug in this world. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so that is no good over there. That's fine. I mean, we could always build around it. Uh, so that's an interesting moment for me. That's never happened before. Uh, I have no idea. It could be like a chunk error that something happened over there. No idea. But uh, because of that, we're just going to have to build around it. So that's just uh, an, an issue, but we can totally fix it. There we go. So we can even start from this side. So let's do that. There we go. And let's continue this way. Close it all up. Make it. I'm trying to make it a little bit big, you know, kind of make it not just like a square. Add some character to it, a little bit more volume. Um, so I think this is okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. There's more, more than enough space for some dogs to roam around right now. So I'm pretty happy with this. There we go. Fairly simple. And this is what I wanted to do. We could probably actually add some dispensers around here for treats. So we can add... Um, now I'm trying to think if a fence is the best thing to have this as a support. Uh, I think a fence is kind of cool. But we could also add some... What's this? This is the wooden trapdoors. Maybe the wooden trapdoors can go alongside like this. Which I think would be kind of cool. Now, the most important thing is to see if this pressure plate will work. So, let's go ahead and test out this pressure plate here. Um, and I don't think it will. So, I think the trap door has to be removed in the front. Um, which is not really a big deal. I think that looks fine. Um, so, let's actually go ahead and put the trap doors on the side. And let's just put some treats as well inside here. So, we don't have any treats. So, sadly, we're going to go and get some... Um, we're going to have to go to the farm for the first time ever on an episode... And, yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna have to use the cows here. Sorry, cows. We just need, like, oh, we'll just get, like, one. Just one. That's more than enough. Here we go. All right. Sorry, cows. Adios. All right. Uh, that's why we have a farm, guys. Uh, so now let's go ahead and see if this will work out for us. I think this will be kind of good. I hope, hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. I mean, it's not too difficult to work at a dispenser, right? So let's go see. If I step here. What? I think it has to be connected to the bottom. No, I think I think it does. Ah, jeez, why? Okay, well, let's give this a shot again. Uh, let's remove all of these. Oh, man, I was really hoping for a better design. So, uh, I guess we might have to, like, keep it on the ground. Is that the only... Yeah, it's the only way it's going to work. That sucks, though. Um, it's going to be difficult for me to figure out a design for it then. I mean, we could keep it on the ground. It's not a big deal. It just doesn't look as good. But whatever. You know what? We're just going to have to work with what we have here and just accept it. So, for now... That's what we're going to do. Where the heck are my trap doors? There they are. They blend in with the pressure plate almost. So, you know what? It's not actually. It works out for the better probably because now we can actually close this in like that, which is not half bad. Um, obviously, I might rethink this design because I'm not too happy with it. It doesn't look too awful, but I feel like it could be done a little bit better. But for now, we're just going to have to work with this design and deal with it for now. So, let's just see. You know, whatever. Not too big of a deal. All right. Definitely a lot different than what I had in mind, so not a big deal. Let me see what else I have that we can probably uh, try to make this look a little bit more complete, a little bit better. So uh, we could definitely, I mean, we don't even have the roof, so it's difficult to even close up this area. But for now, I do want to add some uh, dispensers around here. And I'm trying to think what's a cool design that kind of blends in for a dispenser. So I'm thinking we need some leaves. We don't have any leaves, so we're not going to do that heavy detail at the moment. But what I had in mind was, so we can add a dispenser somewhere like right around here. No, let's put it like right here. And then around it, we'll wrap it around leaves or some vines or whatever. Um, and I think that would be fairly okay. So it would be something really basic like this. So we'll leave it like this for now. We're going to have random dispensers located around here for the dogs to go and get themselves some treats. So I think that's fairly cool. I don't mind it. Now, when it comes to actually the dog rooms, like the dog houses, I feel like it would be fair enough to keep them outside and let them wander around and have fun. But it would also be nice to have like little rooms for the dog. But that's really difficult to build um, as of right now for what I'm thinking of. So let's see what we can try. Let me actually eat some more food. Um, all right. So as you walk in, I was thinking this room here could be for the dogs to come, come in at night and like get some rest if they like to. So let's go ahead and try to design it and see what we can do here. What's the best thing we can design? I have no idea, but we're going to make a little bit of a, like a fancy kind of dog room. If that makes any sense. So a fancy dog room. I think we're going to close this up like this, make it two doors. So that it looks, or one door actually, and that would be easier for me. These pressure plates are a little bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get some, let's go with cobblestone stairs. And let's place some going 
like that. I think this is the only way I could place them. So let's try that. Um, same with here. I think we're going to have to close this in and make it two or one door. Now, I don't know if that's good enough. I feel like it should be bigger. So what we could do is we can make this where it's like a half, half of it is for the dogs. Maybe that will be something better. I mean, we can even remodel this so it's just a bigger room in general, but um, that's not too bad either. So let's go ahead and get some fences here. Let's use the fence, connect it like that. Same with this side. Okay, not too bad. Now, I don't know if we should use uh, the, the cobblestone stairs. I think we should go with something better. Let's go ahead and try. Uh, do we have anything else that we could try? We could try stone brick, but I'd rather go with spruce. I think I'm just going to go with the spruce. I think wood would be a lot better just to kind of keep it all simple around here. And I think that's just a, a better go-to. Let's see. I feel like that's better. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I think it just keeps it simple, which is kind of what I want to go for. Um, we do need some gates as well. But if we close this in from this side and the dogs could just enter this way, they have plenty of room, I would assume, right? Um, we could definitely redesign this from what, I, from what I'm looking at right now. It definitely needs some help. Uh, oh, we are going to have to make a, a ceiling as well. So I have a cool idea for the ceiling. We could use the same type of style we did in the storage room, but having the logs kind of connect to the ceiling. So just think about having a ceiling over here. Um, just imagine that for now, because we're not going to do that in today's episode. Uh, but just if you imagine that, you'll see kind of the vision I have now. So in the next episode, we are going to complete this more, but uh, this looks kind of cool. So we can actually have this connecting to the top of where we have a ceiling. You know what? Let's just build the ceiling now. What's 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 the cost? Let's go ahead and make this quick ceiling so you guys can kind of see what I have in mind. Uh, we're going to close it in from about here. So there we go, like that. There we go. That's good. And we're going to make the roof. I don't think we're going to make a second level. We might make a second level, but for now, we're just going to stick with making this ceiling so you guys can just see how it looks enclosed. Uh, now, one thing I am kind of struggling with right now as I'm doing this is I'm realizing this room kind of is a little bit too small for an adoption center for dogs. I don't know how many dogs we're going to actually fit in here. But in the meantime, I think we could just say, you know, it's good enough for now. Uh, we can definitely work with it a bit more and, and fix it up. But here we go. See, this is what I mean. So it would connect to the wall or to the ceiling. Now, let's see if it looks decent. I don't know if I like that, though. No, I'm not a big fan of that. So let's try ahead and take these down. What if we put oak going alongside it? Let's see if that would look kind of half decent. So if we do this, that's not bad. Um, it looks a little bit strange, though. It does look a little bit strange. So I'm thinking we're going to fix this in a few episodes actually from now because i'm thinking next episode we're going to remodel this a little bit more this is like the basic structure that's why i do these episodes there's always that basic structure design that we'll do and then in the next episode we really fix it all up but uh all right i'm not too too upset about that one thing i do like is to have this open more open like that that for me is better now i don't know it's really difficult to organize these dog pens i was thinking of just having it i don't know i'm not a big fan we're gonna take this down i'm just not liking it at all um, so let's take this completely down and we're gonna have to figure out a design if you guys have a design in mind I'd be more than happy to, to take a look of what you have to say about it But I need something that kind of suits this room. It's a small room sadly And I didn't think it through I mean I could always expand the room But then again, it'll look kind of strange to have this like a little bit opened up a bit I mean, it's not too strange. Let's actually go ahead and try let's do some remodeling here Let's go ahead and try to open up and extend this room for the dogs. I think it's not a bad idea. It'll look a little bit different, but you know what? I th oh, that's actually a great idea. Yeah, I just thought of it, and I think it's going to be perfect. I already have the vision in my head for this. So we're going to expand this going outwards, like, not like that, but I think like this. Here we go. Like that. And we're going to make it, that, that's about uh, the right size. So something like this is perfect. And now what we're going to do is over here, the corners are going to be the wood oak plant, or the wood oak like this, the logs, perfect. Same with this side. And we're going to have a slanted roof here. Now, you guys are going to see what I mean. And it's going to be opened windows. So we're going to take one of these logs down. Not with an axe. Or not with a pickaxe, but there we go. And now I'm going to use the slabs to do the slanted roof. This is going to be cool. I'm really happy so far with what I just got in mind. So this is a win-win for me, at least. So let me show you guys what I have in mind. And this is perfect because now the dogs can have like a, like a little room. They can just walk in and just like call it a day. You know what I mean? Uh, so there we go. That's perfect. And then we need to add one more going up. 
and there we go and perfect all right so that's gonna go alongside this whole structure here and it's gonna be like a slanted roof and i think that's going to be perfect because now we have an area for the dogs to go in and and rest and we don't even have to make an actual like room for them we'll just like design it where they just like have windows all around and it's just pretty simple so i think that's the perfect uh i think that's a perfect compromise in my opinion so let me know what you guys think about that but i think it's i think it's perfect i think it's good here we go, have a little bit of an overhang going around here. Do we have enough slabs for it? No, we do not. Uh, let's go make some more slabs. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, we do have more slabs. Good, good stuff, Alex, and good stuff. You're prepared. All right, so let's go ahead and close this all up. Same style. Here we go. And, oh, that's not even an overhang yet. There we go. Wait, that's weird. Um, how much an overhang do we have here? Oh, no, that's correct. So this side was one extra too much. There we go. Let's take them down and perfect. That's that's what I was going for. All right. Yes, this is looking good. I'm really happy with this. And I want to add possibly some stairs. Not No, no, that's not going to really work. Actually, we could add it down here, could we? Let's see if that works. Let's see if this will work. I don't know. It's a bit of a gamble here to see this design through. But no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep the slabs how they were. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. We're going to do some more fixer up. But... So far, big improvement from what I had in mind initially. So let's get some sleep here real quick because this could be a real danger for us because creepers like to roam around and destroy your builds real quick. So uh, let's take this down as well now. So now we have a bigger room, more open, and I have a really great idea for what we should do for what's going to kind of wrap around that room. Instead, oh, there's, look at the zombies come after us. Look at those zombies. Look at all those zombies. All right. I don't think they're going to make it to me. They might make it to me. Nope, they didn't have enough strength. The sun got you. Yeah, that's what happens. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing is the top here is going to connect probably with some slabs just to kind of complete it and have something to connect to. I think that's fair to say that's okay. So if we could do this and kind of... Oh, wait, no, that's the overhang. Uh-oh, I think I messed up here. Okay, so instead this... Okay, what's missing here? I think I messed one up. There we go. So I'm thinking... We need something to connect. So that part should be connected over here. Same with this part. Perfect. And we could just close that all up. Here we go. And cool. So now around here, I'm thinking of just putting glass. I think glass windows would be kind of cool just to have around here. Like this. Over here, we'll probably do like two. And we'll have something in the middle dividing it. So we can have maybe... No, we could just make it all glass. I think all glass is totally fine. I like that. I think it's all good like this. I like this. This is nice. This is actually really good. Okay, cool. So now they can just go in here and sleep and do whatever and stay away from any like bad weather if there's anything out there. I think that's a perfect compromise right there. So let's go ahead and uh, try to fix this so there's no gap. So let's do that. Perfect. Same with this side. This is what I was talking about, filling in those corners in. But this is really great. And I think I'm going to leave it. I think grass is fine for now. I'd like to put carpet, so we could probably do carpet. But we want to put some fences here. So let's go ahead and put ourselves the fences to kind of close it all up. I think that's more than enough space. And it really is looking nice. I'm pretty happy with this. This is a lot better. And I'm personally really happy with this quick change. Uh, so that's awesome. I'm really happy with this design. Really, really pleased. And it gives us more room to even actually build ourselves like a nice dispensary here with food and shelves. And I think that's just perfect. And this is really nice here. It opens up well. So I'm really happy with this. So far, pretty good upgrade right there. Now, I don't have any wool. I mean, I do have some sheep. So let's go ahead and get some sheep. We need to make some shears. I wonder if I have any shears left in these chests somewhere. If not, then we're not really going to be able to uh, get any wool from the, the sheep. Unless I have some wool just... Hanging around here, um, doing nothing, or some shears, let's see, analyzing, analyzing, nothing, alright, well that's not good, and I don't see any shears at all, or any wool, um, so with that being said, I think for now, we're not gonna really bother too much, yeah, I'm just taking one more glance here, oh, I wanna use jungle wood too. I think jungle wood would look really nice for that. But, man, this is looking great from this side, too. And we have this pond here that we can design. Oh, man, I'm really pleased. Let me know in the comment sections what you think. But I am really happy with this so far. This is fantastic. We don't have any, any dogs yet, but we will. And you guys will see. It's going to look pretty awesome. Uh, what we could do here is I said I want to use jungle wood. And I'm thinking what we can incorporate jungle wood with. It's kind of difficult now to go ahead and use jungle wood. But um, we can try to do something with it as for a design. 
Let's see, how would something like that look? Just no, you know what? Let's just not use it in this build. It's not worth it. I might redesign the build with jungle wood actually instead of oak. Um, just to give it a little bit of difference compared to the other ones, but I think it's fine. Um, I like this. It adds a little bit of depth to it, so I'm happy with that. I want to do something here. I want to add some stairs going like this. I think that's maybe too much now. So let's go ahead and take them back down. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the stairs, I think, on the corners. I think the corners would look nice. Something like this. I think that's okay. I don't think that's too bad. And then it will close in this gap. But that looks kind of strange. No, all right, we're just going to leave that for now, and we'll figure out what we could do for it. But in the meantime, I'm not going to worry with the outside at the moment. I'm just going to continue to work on the inside and figure out what we can do with these dispensers because they are kind of ugly. We are getting close to the end of today's episode. Uh, so I want to figure out what we can do to really close in this room and make it look nice for these dispensers. Um, I, do have a, a D I do have an idea, actually. Um, I don't want them on the floor, so what we could do... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, these could be, like, dog homes. Like, little... Like, I mean, obviously, they don't, they're not going to fit, but we can even put them in here. So, it kind of looks like a dog little, uh, house. But, actually, we might put them outside like this. But that's a unique idea. What we could do right now is actually quickly go ahead and, and just build, like, one, um, for the fun of it. Just to see how it would look somewhere around here. Like, randomly placed. Like, something, like, right about here. So, if we put a block in the middle, wrap it all around like this here we go and i think we could put one on the back too here we go and then we take the middle block out it's like a little dog house they could just go in there so it's like a little safe room i guess um and we could put a few around here so let's do that why not actually not right now that's just distracting that's too much too much but what i want to do right here is we could add a second floor but then again that's kind of difficult to do i was thinking of adding a second floor so the dispensers would at least be at this level but i guess it's not really possible and now that I'm trying to think about what we could do with these dispensers to make it look kind of interesting, it's not uh, too easy for me to figure something out. Now, what we could do is we could possibly add some dispensers on the side, and then we could do... Oh, not that. I, I need maybe some stairs or some block. I don't know. This is kind of a difficult uh, idea for me to even figure out. Let's see. Something like that, where they go up here and get something. That's not too bad either. We can try to go with this design. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really happy with that. So yeah, this dispenser is probably the hardest thing. Even though it's it's somewhat simple, it's one of the most difficult things to make it a cool design. But let me see if I can actually place a dispenser um, and put a frame over it. If we can do that, we could probably do something cool for a design. So if I do this, can I get one of my frames and place it over it? That would be kind of nice, just to block off the hole. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's kind of cool. See, now that I like. We can do something with that. All right, that's good. That's good. Oh, I want to add this as well. Let's do this. That looks nice. All right. And we can pretty much close up this wall with fences like this. All right, that's better. That kind of completes the room somewhat. We're going to have gates here so that they just can go in freely. Uh, but you know what? No, I'm not liking these. We're not going to use stairs there. I think we're just going to use maybe an oak. Uh, let's go with oak. Let's go with an oak log. So we have some oak logs here. Let's go with some oak logs like that. Maybe that's better. That doesn't look too bad. We'll figure it out. But I'm really happy. This room was the major improvement for today's episode. Um, as for the dispensers, I'd really appreciate if you guys can give me some ideas because it's really difficult for me to figure out a simple design for this. I don't know why. Usually I can do it on the spot, but it's just not easy. I kind of want it to look better than this. Obviously, I think I might have to add some more design around here to fill it in. But, I mean, if this is how it's going to look like this, then we can definitely go ahead and, and just do like a fill-in um, or something. But I don't have a lot of resources on me for that. Um, yeah, I don't really. But, yeah, it could be like a fill-in, I guess. So something like where it's going to be covered in like this. So, oh, wait, hold on. I think we're on to something here, everyone. I think we just made something in the last minute of today's episode. I think we're on to a little design. Okay, I'm quite happy with this right now. All right, okay, hold on. This is actually quite good. And what we could do... Oh, yes, all right, this is great. I already have the idea. It's already inside my brain. Look at this. And over here, we can add shelves. So a little bit of shelves. Want to hurt a little bit like that. Here we go. We got some shelves, a bit of a design. We can definitely add some more stuff here, like some leaves or, or something. Maybe here we can actually add some chests going like this. Oh, this is going to be cool. Do I have any extra chests? Yes, I do. Okay, what we could do is a chest there, chest over there. And maybe we can put one more chest up there. Just make it like a zigzag. 
and that's really cool and what we could do is we could even add some frames on top of that no that's gonna make it look too, too overwhelming but there we go guys oh but we can't open this oh dang all right well uh that's kind of a rip to this idea but what we could do is we could add the slabs so it looks a little bit messy but i don't know let's see let's not do that let's just make it one level let's just fix this all up again let's keep it open like that let's just put double chests one double chest there and then we can just close in with the slab that would work quite well and obviously we can't put a chest there but that that's better see that's a better compromise right there i'm pretty happy with that so uh all right and we could probably do i don't know some other designs could we put fences in, oh we could put a fence in there okay let's do that let's put a fence in there as well not a chest oh geez there we go fence up there pretty nice all right i'm pretty happy with this if i had some more stuff i would definitely add some more things around here and i definitely will in the next episode you will see but this went from zero to 100 real quick so i must say i'm pretty pleased with this it took a twist for sure from what i had originally so if you guys watched all the way to the end i appreciate it because you guys got to see the big change here so i'm pretty happy with this uh really really pleased with so far how this has taken shape and out here having this space for for the dogs to run around and yeah this is great this is really great um i might add some more things on this side so if you guys have any more ideas for what i should do for an interior design that'd be great to know as well definitely want to add some more dispensers though that'd be kind of nice to have some more dispensers um what i could do for now is i could just put like another chest on here just to kind of fill in this wall a little bit and that's good enough for today's episode. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's episode, definitely go ahead and hit that like button. Like I said, the goal is 300 likes. If we can do that, that would be mind-blowing for the 10th episode of this series. And around the 20th episode, we might do a world download. And besides that, continue to leave me great feedback and ideas. We're going to still work on this. And I can't wait to get this place done because I would really like to see how it looks with having some dogs around here. It's really going to fill in this area, give it some character next to the farm. Man, this place is really taking shape. So again, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. And also, let me know anything in the description. Or not description, but the comment section. And by the way, go ahead and also check the description. There are some uh, real great links you can check out for The Den, which is a server I own that you can go follow us. If we reach 100 followers, we'll do a giveaway on there. But yeah, this world's coming to life. If you like Texture Pack, if you like Faithful, so far it's growing on me. Definitely let me know in the comment sections. But other than that, peace out, guys. My name is Alex, and stay foxy.